what you both have been able to provide. And you put the... I mean, we have nice vehicles. We've been able to... You both have been able to afford that. And the big house and all the hard work that you put in. For me, I think the thing that I cherish the most is we can go to a grocery store and buy anything. If you were to go back 20 years ago, would you all have done it differently if you started the business? Would you have quit your job sooner and expanded faster? No, the, the, let me tell you something. There's a difference. Those days, we got only limited income, even with the foster care homes, because we had just the regular homes. But now, we have got into a different, uh, what do you call, uh, category. We, uh, we have specialized ourselves to run that program. So you're in a particular niche yes. that most really. people aren't, yeah. most of your competitors. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think we established ourselves and we have good uh, reputation. So we have, uh, we have a good demand. Mm -hmm. And that brings us more cash. Okay. So, but would you have started a different business or is this the business that you know and that you're comfortable with? I think I'm very comfortable with this business. Okay. But now I'm getting old. I think I want to somewhat slowly slow down because I don't want to be again because that brings too much stress. But then I think we are comfortable. We have built our business. We have built uh, assets too. So even if we had to retire today, I think I'm very comfortable to retire also. So now have you both ever saved for retirement? Like retirement funds or anything like that? No, we have no, we have no, because I'm not worried about the uh, thing because I have assets in case if I have to dis- we didn't know at that time 401k. Yeah, you all started a business and you weren't- Yeah, hmm. and we bought the homes and things and like we have, that. we have what you call immobile. We lose that money in order to buy other homes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That helped. Yeah, we have built up. I think the business itself is enough for us to retire. And I'm not worried about retirement at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you're kind of, even though you're kind of looking to slow down, mm -hmm. you're expanding your portfolio into yes. things that don't require your yeah. time, time yeah. and your management, mm -hmm. right? Like starting the senior home in India, that's going to bring us income. So in case if we had to... Uh, what do you call retire in India? We have uh, sufficient income. Uh, we have a couple of properties there too, and here we have property. And then also we at the moment we are also getting into a different business, which I don't have to go to work. My partner. And that's totally in a different state, different, right? Yeah. And yes. what business is that? It's a cabin coffee. Coffee cabin, you mean? Little coffee cabin? Oh, coffee cabin. <laughs> You're opening yeah. a coffee yeah. shop, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about coffee? Yeah, I drink coffee. That's all you know? That's all I know. And how do you like your coffee? Like, nice. I like it. I, I have drunk there. No, but how yeah. do you like your coffee? Yeah, that's good. Not that, that it's good with cream coffee or cream, sugar. sugar. Oh. <laughs> how do you like to drink your coffee? <laughs> With the cream and sugar. I like to drink coffee with cream and sweetener. Sweetener, okay. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ma? I drink the coffee with uh, two creams. Okay. So, Mom, her favorite coffee right now is McDonald's, right? Senior, senior citizen. Coffee. Senior coffee. And only because she gets a senior discount. So, at, at our coffee shop, are we. No senior coffee. No senior coffee. <laughs> And price is going to be more, so I won't be buying. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll try to get free coffee. <laughs> okay. She'll go tell. She's the boss. So. Yeah. She'll say to put it on your bill. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle 
that you both have. Um, you both have worked very hard for it. And you both have a lifestyle of pretty much you can go out and buy anything you want. Um, is there anything that you still would like to buy or do besides the things you're already doing? Well, one of these days, my son is going to see a plane for him to fly. You're going to buy it or I'm going to buy it? Well, he, he will have a plane. I'll buy it. Don't worry. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Okay. I am currently with her what I am having, mm. but eventually I want to buy a plane just for the... And that's a business deal, right? Deal. Yeah. My mom and I want to buy planes for two different reasons. Mine is to fly. Mom wants to buy hers to rent out. So if you need a plane or can afford one for rental, talk to my mom. Um, She'll be the pilot. <laughs> Maybe she'll uh, be your hostess on the flight. <laughs> Out of everything that you've been able to enjoy after starting the business, the vacations, um, the lifestyle that you have, what is the thing that you cherish the most? Like, what is the thing that makes you grateful every day? Our community. But community is not something no. that... You've I always know. had the community, yeah. right? You know what? I really want to say that when uh, we were looking for a bigger home, we were living in small, tiny homes until, uh, was it 2000? 2011. 2011. And I was, we were looking for a bigger home because we usually ha used to have uh, worship every month on Friday evening. Like you would have community, yeah, community members, members come over for Vespers. I remember people used to hit them in to each other because they crossed each other they used to get the house used to be so small and there wasn't enough room for people Not to move around rooms. and then there was only one bathroom or something like that so we used that okay it was quite inconvenient so we thought we'll go for a bigger home and of course i had told my dream i have told you my dreams that you know, i like to have a pond with fish and all that and of course you went and saw this huge house and when you when I was in Maryland you called me and he said dad I saw a nice beautiful house we are going mommy and I went and saw it and I would like to you to make an appointment the, call the realtor and make an appointment and I was thinking what's wrong with these people are they crazy it's 1.3 million dollars I said we are going to, is there any chance for us to buy this house? I said, no way. And of course, I couldn't resist you. So what I did, I called the broker and made an appointment. When I started walking into the house, I said, no, 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 we are not going to buy the house. This is too much for us to handle this. And then we walked around and I saw the big pond. I saw the swimming pool. And then I climbed over, I mean, went into the guest house, went on to the, what do you call the patio? Deck. Uh, duck? Uh, deck. 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 And I saw the house, the back of the house. My, I was quite attracted. I said, my goodness, if I could live this in this house, I'll be the fortunate guy. And I was quite surprised we... Yeah, we go again on land, not land, yeah, land contract. Mm -hmm. they will answer. not accept it. And just a few it. weeks before, you had seen a house and got denied for a loan for how much? 200000 But you did a land contract on a one point. When it was first listed, it was 1.6. No, 1.7 million. 1.7. Yeah. And then they, they, brought they brought it down over the few months and stuff. And then you ended up doing a deal at owner financing for four years. four years, but how much was it? 900,000. 900,000. And how many rooms have you furnished? Like three rooms in the house mm -hmm. and that's it? Yes. So you got like 
they came furnished pretty much. Yeah, we bought the items with them. Yeah, yeah. but that was like a separate type of deal yeah. you made. Yeah. The funny thing is, we came and made a deal. And we thought we are not going to get it. And they knew that we were running foster care home. We, we had told them that. But uh, those days, the foster care home was not a big thing. You know, people thought it's like just a very simple business. It's not a big thing. But then uh, here, I mean, with a lot of, uh, what should I say? <laughs> when I offered the, when we offered the price, I said, my goodness, inside I'm saying, oh, it should not work because I was so scared. That they would actually accept the offer and yes. then you would have to. Yeah. And within 24 hours, they wanted to see us. Then I knew it's going to go through. <coughs> and I think within a couple of days, we got the deal. And so you saw it on a Thursday, they called you on a, you, Thursday night we mm -hmm. were here and you yeah. made that deal. Mm -hmm. And then Friday they called you and then Monday or yeah. Tuesday they accepted the offer. Accepted the offer. That end of the month we were inside the house. And I think we couldn't believe it at all. I mean, we, uh, for, for months, we would, uh, we, we didn't know where we were going because the house is so large and so distant, the bedrooms are so far away. And then and every time I used to go stand on the uh, property and look at the house, I said, is this really mine? But uh, today, I mean, I, as you asked me, what do you really cherish? Yes, this is what I enjoy this. Every moment I enjoy this property. I love it. I really wish that as I, I, as when I hand over the house, my son also will enjoy. Nah, it's too expensive to keep up. <laughs> I don't got time to feed the fish, Dad. <laughs> um, how about you, Mom? Mm -hmm. What is the one thing that you like? I like the big house because we got the Indian community growing with us. So we used to have parties always. Thanksgiving, Christmas, things like that. So we could accommodate more than 100 people over here. Yeah, I think the last time you all had a party, it was... 123 people. Not 120 or 25, but 123. She but counted each person. So, but, you know, I think just <clears throat> for me, what you both have been able to provide. And you put the... I mean, we have nice vehicles we've been able to you both have been able to afford that and the big house and all the hard work that you put in for me I think the thing that I cherish the most is we can go to a grocery store and buy anything we don't have to count the candy bars or I mean the dollars anymore because I remember one time when I was little when we didn't have much money, they used to have that burger place hot and now you get 39 cents hamburgers. So I begged mom, it's only 39 cents, it's only 39 cents. And then we went to the drive-through and mom said, what do you want? And I said, an olive burger. And it was a dollar something. <clears throat> and then when this olive burger came and then she had to count the change. Remember in those days, we didn't have change in the cup holders of the cars because mm -hmm. we would use that change. Now we have just changed laying everywhere, everywhere, you know? So when I had that burger and I looked in the bag and there was no other burger there, I asked mom, how come you didn't get a burger? And she said, your burger was so expensive, I could only afford one. So I remember us sharing a burger. And then of course we used to go to, back in those days, Burger King and split a Whopper into three. Yeah, when you say 99 cents, oh, we love, Burger, yeah, if, you for 99 cents. yeah, if you, I love a Whopper, you'd get it for 99 cents. 
So, you know, I want to say thank you for all the hard work you've put in. When I think about um, the struggle that you've both put in, I know I'm starting out my life now in my business. And I think the hardest part about starting my own business is being my own boss because I'm not motivated like you both. And you know that. You know, I can't imagine putting in the hard work that you both did. Um, I know Nancy works hard and she only works nine to five. And I can see the time that she comes home tired being at work all day. And I can't imagine being that many years ago, not even making that much money and working that hard and still having a child to raise, you know? So I wanna thank you both. You both have uh, done something spectacular here. And I think most of your friends and family would agree that you both have done something that even you both couldn't have imagined or dreamed about. Um, can you write a check for me? Uh, so that was really good acting. I'll, I'll pay you some money later. <laughs> okay. He has to pay. <laughs> write a check. You may have to edit a lot. If you've liked what you've seen here today, then please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see you next week. She's not spending time with family. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, any footage is good footage. <laughs>